It's beer and food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a bottle of Skagen Brewhaus Skopask Paskberg at 6% ABV. On the back of the label here it says American Pale Ale or Amerikansk Pale Ale. It, it's a Danish craft beer, a pale ale at 6% ABV. There's the nice bottle cap. And today's pairing is going to be a bag of offer Gameldor's Fleischwa. It's jalapeno pork scratchings, basically. They look really good. Forgot my bottle opener. Here we go, let's get this beer out into a glass, see what we get. Pair it with the lovely pork scratchings. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening, beer in the glass then. At this stage of the beer review, I want to say a massive thank you to Morton. Morton from Norway, long time viewer, long time subscriber, long time sender of fantastic little gifts like this to the channel. Thank you very much, Morton. Very much appreciated. We got a three finger white head. It's a slightly hazy golden light, I'm going to say a really light golden amber coloured beer. Good levels of carbonation, slight haze. I'm just going to put them down then and get straight into the, the pork scratchings. I love a bit of jalapeno, love a bit of pork scratchings. Can't wait to get into this pairing. Aroma. Oh, that smells really good. I miss beer. If I, if I go like a day or two, like I'm probably, what have I gone now? I reckon I've gone about 30 hours between a, since my last beer. Maybe maybe 48 hours. And you genuinely, you're like, oh, I really miss this. I'm like, you get your nose back into it and it's, it almost resets your palate. It resets your senses to what is this fantastic product. Lemon, a bit of biscuit malt, grapefruit, orange flavours, not kind of like orange ice cream sorbet flavours, but more orange kind of peel. It smells great. Let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. That's okay. It's it's a it's a relaxed, I would say a relaxed American pale ale. It's not screaming with hops. It's not kind of it's certainly not what I would call like a Californian pale ale, the screaming full of hops and it's is shooting grapefruit at you and orange peel and fleshy blood orange. It's more it's very much the balanced American pale ale. You get a lot of the malt, a lot of the sweetness that goes over then to be... It's not overly bitter. I would call it like, could I call it a civilized bitterness, a balanced bitterness? But then again, there's some flavors of Grapefruit and orange peel, fleshy blood orange, but in a more mute, a more calm sense. It's probably... It's just a Danish balanced American pale ale. Let's see if there's a little bit more flavour in the bottom of the bottle. Certainly got a nice haze to it. It seems to have more of a, a grapefruity and an orange peel like aroma. And then when you get into the taste, it's just, it's not quite matching the aroma. But have a look at the quality of this beer. As you rock the beer back and forth, look at the lovely carbonation racing and, and chasing that head of the glass. Do 
nutty, biscuity, bready, sweet. Then it goes over to being bitter on the back end with some grapefruit and some orange peel. Let's try some of these offer jalapeno gamaldos blenskva. Apologies to my lovely Danish friends if I've made a complete mess of this pronunciation. There's a look at them. Oh, they're really... It's really fam like it's it's almost like jumping in the mud with a pig and giving the pig a good old cuddle. Cool, yeah. You can almost smell the pig hairs and the pig skin. Well you can smell the pig skin. The pig hairs and you know the pig's been rolling around with the the female pig in the in the in the hen in, in the pen. Yeah, they've been enjoying themselves a little bit. Cool, blimey, that's really farm like. Let's dive in. Mmm. Mmm. They are terrific. Do you know when you like bite into a sausage, like a like a mass mass produced sausage from a supermarket, and you get like a a funny oily chemically kind of like taste, and you're like, mm, I've I've gone off sausage a bit at the moment. This is like the the oils of the pork sausage of old, a good quality pork sausage, the oils and the fats that come out of a pork sausage. This is like... Mmm! Filling your mouth with what feels like good fats. Does that make sense? It doesn't feel like you're filling your your face with E numbers and, and funny rapeseed oils and sunflower oils and that sort of thing. This is proper kind of like lard fat that's coming from the pig and it's the most natural kind of fat you can get. They're crunchy. Mm, my goodness me. These things are fantastic. Crunchy but buttery as well. When you get past that crunch, when it mixes with the saliva in your mouth, it just comes turns into a creamy churn of cream in your mouth and like a buttery. But then it's not butter. It's it's that lovely fats from the pig. Mmm. And there's a little bit of spice from the jalapeno. Tell you what I'm gonna do. What you normally get with these jalapeno snacks is that all of the spice, it's a bit like eating a bag of Doritos. When you get to the bottom of the Doritos, there's always like lots of flavor on your fingertips, isn't it? Same thing here, let's get to the bottom of the bag. Let's really get into that jalapeno flavor. Mm. This video feels like it's just me standing in front of a camera eating a whole bag of pork scratchings. But they're that good. I don't want to stop. I must. Mm. We have Mr. Porky's pork scratchings over here and they're nice, but they're not a patch. They are not a patch on these Danish pork scratchings from OK Snacks. 
They are absolutely divine. How do they pair with a beer? I can just imagine myself sitting in a Danish bar. I've never been to, to Denmark, never. I really wanna to go to Denmark one day. I can imagine myself sitting in a bar in Denmark with lots of oak tables and like like lots of wood around in a, in, in, in a bar. Pardon me, burping like that, drinking my beer. And I'm the type of bloke to sit on my table. I'll open the bag up. I'll open the whole bag of, like if I buy a bag of crisps from the pub, I'll open the bag up and I'll share them with whoever's sitting with me. I can imagine myself with them pork scratchings with a few strangers or a few friends or whatever. I generally, I don't need to phone a friend to go to a pub me. I'm one of these people I can just go to a pub and, and I can talk to people who I've never met before. Um, and quite often they're the best nights you can, you can have because, you know, um, you're slightly on guard, aren't you, when you, when you, when you um, go out on your own and when you mix with strangers because you don't know how the night's going to go. So you, you're kind of watching what you're saying. And Anyway, um, I, yeah, I enjoy that type of thing. So I would open that bag of jalapeno pork scratchings and sit with strangers, sharing them and drinking beer and having fun. Um, that is a really good pairing. Morton. Thank you so very much for sending this is a Gagan Brew House Score Pask, Pask Brew um, 6% ABV American Pale Ale. Nearly got tongue tied then. Nearly. It was the last minute I had to move that tongue a little bit quicker to, to unfold the tongue tie. Uh, and then, then they offer flangs, flask var, gamaldors, jalapeno. Pork scratchings. I'm just going to go out and say it are the best. We have some in the UK. Sorry if I'm gassing a little bit now. I will finish this review very quickly in a moment. But in the UK at the moment, we have this like we have craft. It's gone to the stage now. We have craft pork scratchings where they're made better. They're not just like Mr. Porkies. They're like a a, a different level of pork scratching. I think if you put these pork scratchings with some of the expensive craft pork scratchings we have here in the UK these would hold their own they really would hold their own pork scratchings for me they're fantastic they're a 10 out of 10 the beer pardon me choked on a burp It's a tough one. It's a really good pairing with the food. It's a really good pairing with the food. But if I bought this in a bar, maybe if it was, if it was, it, maybe if it was in a bar, maybe a bit, a bit fresher. Maybe I think I, I'm not sure if if this would be fresher on keg cask in a Danish pub, or it's just made this way. Um, I, I don't know too much about the beer. I don't know too much about the brewery. Um, it's nice. It, it's a nice beer. Without breaking down walls. It's not it's not an American pale ale that's breaking down walls that you know everybody's raving about. But it's decent. It's decent. I'm gonna give that a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. One more big shout out to Morton. Thank you so very much for sending the pork scratchings and the beers. A little bit of an apology that I've taken a little bit longer than normal to get around to this beer review. Um, I just got thrown under a bus by a, a massive launch of craft beer in the UK that everybody's raving about and I, I kind of had to be on that, that bandwagon, if you like. But that bandwagon's more or less finished now and I can concentrate on the people who send me beer. I always meant, I always said that I would put the beers that people sent me personally through their own hard-earned money, I would always put them beers before, like beers I bought myself or beers that brewery sent me. So I do, I do feel a little bit, just a little bit guilty that I took a little bit longer than normal to, to review this beer. But Morton's a cool guy. He's a really cool guy. Top lad. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.